Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little vlog. I'm actually going to get my hair straightened um, at the hairdresser. Now, it's been such a long time that I've actually had my hair kind of, you know, straightened. The reason why I'm going to get it done professionally is because I want to trim my ends. I feel like my ends are looking so terrible. Um... I did attempt to cut it before on my own and it was fine but I feel like it's been quite a few years I think maybe like four or five years since I actually had my hair like properly cut by a professional so I'm gonna go and get my hair um, straightened and basically trimmed um, so I'm actually excited and I do hope that the lady that does it does it well I have never been to a salon before so I'm literally just trying her for the first time and I do hope that she does a good job now because I'm not really familiar with her and also based on my previous experience with um, straightening my hair at the hairdresser I decided that I was gonna prep my hair from from home so that's why you can see it's looking it's still looking a bit wet I don't know if you guys can see that can you guys see the ends it's actually looking a bit wet because i did um wash it i conditioned it um and then i used some aloe vera as well to detangle and basically seal the moisture like i did all of that good stuff from home i also oiled my scalp so essentially it's just a matter of just going in there and you know getting my hair blow dried and essentially um straighten so yeah i'm actually really really excited i brought with me my tripod so hopefully i can record it for you guys and also before we go i do want to stop um at the convenience store because i do i need to post i need to return a parcel from zara i've got it here i don't know if you guys can see that yeah so i need to return this parcel i don't know whether i'm gonna have the time to get that done before actually like going to my appointment because i don't want to be late since i have to um like get there and set up so yeah i have to i have to go really quickly now at three o'clock here is a time when people actually pick up their kids from school which just means that there will be a lot of traffic so i'm really trying my appointment is at three o'clock but i'm really trying to to beat the school run because i know that's going to cause more delays um essentially so yeah i do hope you enjoy watching the vlog make sure you click the like button and also subscribe if you're not already and then yeah i'll, I'll catch you when we get there um yeah so i'm gonna record it and i'm actually super super excited i don't know the lighting is a bit it's a bit off um but anyways guys i'll catch you guys when, when i get there Okay guys, so we've now got here. I just need to put a bit of parking on my car. I think I probably put like two hours, but because I, I just don't know how long it's gonna take. If it takes less than that, it's good. If it takes more, mm, I don't know. I think two hours should be a good good enough time, especially that she's not gonna wash the hair. Now it's still not dry, guys. It's still not dry, it's still dripping with my aloe vera that I put on it um but it's fine i was letting it down like this so that it can dry a bit quicker but it's actually not drying out um but anyways it's fine so i'm just gonna go ahead and put a bit of parking and then yeah i feel like i was just too far away talking to you guys yay look at this this is so much better um yeah so I'm just going to put a bit of parking now and then I'm just going to head there. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys when I get there. Okay, guys, quick update. Um, I've just been to the hairdresser that I booked earlier and she said I couldn't record. Although when I booked the appointment, she did say that it was fine to record. But then I get there and she's like, oh, my boss said you can't really record it. So I'm like, but why, why didn't you tell me? Like, why didn't you tell me? before i came in that i couldn't record because i would have definitely just arranged something else 
but anyways that was just so annoying I'm literally so upset because you know I just feel like she just wasted my time but anyways I found another hairdresser nearby and I just checked whether they see walkings and she said yeah um, so they got me booked in for about 20 minutes uh, in about 20 minutes so I'm just gonna wait and she's okay with me recording as long as her face is not in the video I was like oh yeah that's fine like I'm not planning to put your face in the video anyways so I'm just gonna go ahead and just wait until I get seen so I'll catch you guys in a little bit okay guys so we're in the first step is to blow dry the hair um, before straightening and because my hair was already in sections it was just a bit easier for her um, because she could just undo every single section and then blow dry so she was quite happy that i had already put my hair from home and put it in sections because it just meant that it was a bit easier for her um it's actually quite funny because when we started yeah because i had been waiting around for about um an hour i did say to her like i think my parking might be running out like do you think I need to go and put more parking? She was like, oh no, it's fine. I was like, okay, roughly how long is it going to take me to get this whole thing done? She was like, oh yeah, just just, just an hour or just over an hour. I think at that point I had like an hour and a half left on my parking because I did put three hours. Um, So I was like, oh, okay, cool. She probably knows what she's talking about like because she's probably done this before. Um, But yeah to my surprise it took so long just to get these two sections straightened and the back of my hair wasn't quite as bad but as it got to the middle of my hair it started to get a lot more complicated um so i'll just let you guys watch and you know you can get to see it for yourself as well it was getting quite tangled i was losing a lot of hair um because it just kept you know falling out as she was combing and I thought as though, you know, the more it was getting tangled, the more impatient she was getting. And to be completely honest, like, I get this a lot with hairdressers. Like, well, the few times that I've been to hairdressers to get my hair done, it's always been like this. Um, but I don't really blame them, to be honest, because, me and I know my hair, my hair is a lot. Um, I did have such a beautiful, nice lady. We had really, really great conversations. She was literally, like, so nice. Um yeah i was just you know it was just nice nice company in general you know and i enjoyed the little chat that we had while i was there um so i'll let you guys watch and you can get to see um how this ended now at this point guys my hair was falling out quite a lot and i offered to help um detangle myself and blow dry um just to see if i could get it done a bit quicker um but then obviously i would be doing this while she was working on the other section of my hair just to sort of save time because she was actually like struggling um but she was really nice i mean she was such such an amazing woman um so yeah that that was the plan so that's what i was going to do on this section i was just going to comb it out a little bit but i was just doing a bit of finger detangling because at this point it was quite tangled and then i'm just going in here with my comb and just combing now this is not the comb that i bought from home she gave me this comb um so i'm just sort of trying to comb it get rid of the knots and the tangles because obviously it made it more difficult for her um but essentially yeah that's what i was doing and then she'll move on to the next section and try and do her bit as well so that is a bit quicker okay guys so this appointment was literally an epic fail um she started blow drying my hair but it was so difficult for her she just couldn't seem to handle it so in the end she just decided that she was not going to do it again so i'm actually heading home and there's so much traffic like because i took so long you know, um, just like I told you guys before, what had happened is that the lady that I had initially booked with and said that it was okay for me to record, then turned around and said, sorry, my manager said you can't record. So I then had to wait around for another hairdresser to be ready, like another salon. Um, and then in the end, she couldn't even do my hair because she was like, you just have so much hair. She said, my hair is just a lot. And she was really having a lot of trouble 
uh, uh, um, what's it called, uh, blow drying, and she was like, if even if, even if I try to straighten it like this, it's not going to come out well. So you might as well just just leave it. And my hair was breaking a lot as well. Like it was literally like any time she put her blow dryer through, like they were just you were just getting stuck, and basically my hair was falling out quite a lot. And she just felt like. She just couldn't do it. At least I appreciate the fact that she was honest and she said, you know, I don't think I can do this. Um, so, but anyways, so I'm just, I just wanted to show you guys the part of the hair that she did. This is the back. That's the one that she started blow drying. Um, literally, there's so much traffic. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so I'm trying to show you guys the part that she started doing. I don't know if you guys can actually see like this part is somewhat kind of straight maybe when I get home I'll show you I'll show you better but right now it is so nutty there's so many nuts and tangles in it it just isn't looking how my hair was like when I first went there um, so yeah that's basically my hair salon experience basically um, it just didn't go well unfortunately yeah it just it just didn't go well guys it didn't go well at all um so that's why i i don't always go to the hairdresser to get my hair done because i feel like a lot of people just can't handle my hair because you know it's just it's it's a lot and it's really long as well so most uh, most hairdressers do do struggle um to do it so i think what i might do if i do get the time i'm probably just going to uh blow dry myself at home and then i will go there and just get her to just straighten it for me um but i kind of understood where she was coming from because yeah she said that if my hair is not properly blow dried that like she can't really straighten it because she needs to be able to run the comb through so but anyways and in case you're wondering guys it was a black lady that was doing my hair but she still could manage it um but yeah, that's my story. The basically, this is how this vlog is going to end. It just didn't go well. I think the lighting here is a bit better. I don't know if you guys can actually see. This is the part that has been kind of blow dried. You can see it's looking, it's looking kind of straight, but it's not that straight. I still need to get home and properly detangle it because it's got a lot of knots in it so but anyways thank you so much for watching guys if you made it to this point of the video thank you i'm really sorry to disappoint you that you couldn't really see my hair i'm just as disappointed as you are as well but what can i do what can i do so i'm just sort of stuck in this traffic let me show you guys can you see the traffic right can you guys see this traffic i'm literally stuck in it you know um yeah so i'm stuck in this traffic and i've been out for so many hours but didn't really get anything done so yeah for me i just feel like it's a waste of time um but it's okay anyway so i'll catch you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching until next time guys bye